Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of the Vinegar Tasting Marathon. Today I'm here with Pinoy Floyd and we're going to be trying Filipino vinegar. He's going to be trying it for the first time. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it's going to be crazy. I know vinegar is like this main condiment, this main sauce in the Philippines. Uh, definitely used in a lot of dishes and a lot of Filipino cuisine. So we're going to see what happens. I'm pretty sure there's an entire aisle dedicated to different vinegars out here, so let's check it out. There's fancy vinegars, there's just normal everyday Joe vinegars. It's actually, I think it's this way. Okay. But I just love the Filipino grocery store. This is inside of Cash and Carry Mall. I think that's where the vinegar Ooh. is. Oh, yeah, Al 40 vinegar. Yep, we found the vinegar. Ooh, very, very Maser up. Hello, sir. I have a question. What's your favorite vinegar? Your number one choice of vinegar? Yeah, vinegar. These are all the vinegars in the Philippines. Oh, you like the sweetened? Yeah, sweetened. Ah. Pinakarat. Pinakarat. So yeah, these are classics. I've actually already tried all of these, but we really should have you try them as well. I mean, they never get old for me. When I take a sip of this vinegar, I'm just like my mouth waters. It's spicy. Yeah. Can you handle spicy? How spicy uh, just can a little handle? bit, just not too much, but we'll we'll see, we'll see. My mouth is literally salivating right now, <laughs> thinking about trying this vinegar. Oh, and check it out. This is halal. I, I didn't even know there was halal vinegar. I think we have to try the ginger vinegar. That's going to be absolutely yeah. fantastic. We also have to try the pina karat. I know I've tried this in other videos, but you've never tried this, so right. we have to have you try this as well. These are classics. Pina Karat. We gotta try a couple of these guys as well. What do you think? Should we try the uh, smoked vinegar or three blend vinegar? I mean, this looks amazing. I'd say the smoked. Smoked vinegar. Let's try the smoked. So this is actually the common man vinegar. This is Datu Fu Tea. This is actually what like a lot of Filipinos mm -hmm. have. Excuse me, ma'am. What is your favorite vinegar? We're trying uh, to figure out, one. yeah, is this one a common Filipino vinegar? Yeah, it's very common, right? Yeah. Well, what's a vinegar that you really appreciate? Silver swan. Silver oh. swan. Oh. Which one? Oh, this one. Cane vinegar. Cane vinegar. Ah, silver swan. We have to get this then. This seems like the more exotic flavors because as we get closer to the right side, that's where everything gets tame. Uh, but you already have a spiced vinegar. And I think we should do one of these. Yeah, it's kind of might as well get the trilogy. Yeah, exactly. There is an organic coconut sap vinegar, but that's 260 right there. So that's actually the most expensive. $5 small thing of vinegar. I think this would be fine because the chon kawali is just like roasted pork. Yeah, I think that could be good. Yeah. Definitely want to try these with a little bit of the lechon. Sounds like good. Cook lechon. So we're going to do a little bit of a mixture on the taste test. We, you know, we can try it just vinegar solo, then we can try it with the chicharron, then we can try it with the lechon, and I think that's gonna be an interesting taste test right there. I mean, we got 15 peso vinegars, we got 250 peso vinegars. What's your favorite vinegar here? Number one vinegar? Yeah, that we got today. Oh, that one, the, the sweet one, is your favorite. Ah, number one. Vinegar wrap. Which one's your favorite vinegar, sir? Beef. Oh, this one. This one's your favorite. Yes. Ginger. Yes, with ginger and oh. uh, sorapa. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Quality, quality. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's going to be perfect for the uh, vinegar. How many pieces? 20 pieces. Ah, four pieces. Ah, okay, okay. Is that vinegar? Oh, uh, vinegar. Vinegar. Suka. Is this your first time having calamari on the street? It is. It is. And now you get to try a Filipino vinegar before the review. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just get a little bit of this. Let's not go too crazy with it. Try this. Mmm. Oh, this is good. Here we go, guys. First time to try calamari on the street. Mm. Oh, wow. That was good. And like I said, I've had street food before, but you know, sometimes it's hit or miss. Sometimes you get to the vendor and you're getting like the old food that's been sitting there and it, you know, it's not fried fresh. 
I mean, they're frying fresh calamares. I saw the steam coming off of it. And as soon as I saw that, I'm like, wait, wait, we gotta stop. <laughs> I know this is super random. I know it's spur of the moment, but you know, when you get fresh hot street food, it just hits different. I feel like in the spur of the moment is where you find the best food. Michelin star approved. Yeah. No need for that. Just go look at the food, smell the food. Think about, oh, is that a clean place where they're making the food? Maybe, maybe not. It's normally not as bad and not as scary as you think. What's inside there? Sprout beans and cabbage. Oh, cabbage and sprout yeah. beans. How much for? 10 pesos. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome back to another edition of the Vinegar Tasting Marathon. We are sponsored by Mama Sita. Actually, we're not sponsored by anybody. I wish we were sponsored by these guys. If you do want to sponsor a vinegar expert, I'm turning into the vinegar expert now. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you've tried a lot of different vinegars and we have a really nice spread. We have some cups so we can try it just by, you know, the vinegar itself. Yes. Then we have some chicharron and then we have some pork liempo. So yes, we, have we have a lot of different vehicles to try this vinegar with. However, we're not going to be trying it with rice. We've had so much rice. I think I want to go with something that's going to surprise you and shock you and make you scared for your life. Do you want to start spicy? It's your choice. I'm going to go with this one because this is honestly one of my favorite vinegars in the Philippines and it's your first time to try it. I have had so many comments tell me how I need to shake the vinegar. That's good, that's good. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay, so check that out. Just look at that thick vinegar. And we're probably gonna have to go lighter because we're gonna be reusing the cup, so. Yeah. Just keep that in mind. Cheers. Oh wow, this is a- uh, Very pungent. A lot, yeah. It's a pretty spicy one. It's, it's up All there right. in the spicy level. All right, well. Let's do it. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that is spicy. That's right. spicier than normal. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna need some uh, chicharron. Do you so, call them chicharrones or do you just call them chicharron? I call it chicharron. Oh. Just by, uh, I guess that's how the locals pronounce it. What would you rate that just by itself? For Filipino vinegar, that's a 10 out of 10 for sure, all okay. the way. Like, wow. that is my favorite vinegar. I would say this is, uh, on the spice tolerance, I would say it's probably like a, an 11 out of 10. Yeah. But let's see what it does with the chicharron. I'm a vinegar fiend. Pretty much, well, pretty much I can't get enough of this vinegar. So this is gonna be the chicharron. Mmm. Yeah. It's a little bit different with the chicharron. And now we also have some liempo. So we have a couple of different vehicles that we're gonna use. This is still piping hot. I don't want you to burn your hands. So let's... Okay, so this is looking like a big hunk of bacon. That's yeah. what this looks like. so go ahead and take a piece. Is that pork liempo? Oh, wow. Ooh. So this piece is for you oh, right you. here. And I'm just gonna break off my piece with the spoon. Oh wait, should we use a different vinegar now to try the next one or... I think just... we should just go one by one. So I add a little bit more vinegar. I'm going crazy on this vinegar. Yeah, because I really want to see what each vinegar does with each type of vehicle. So what's the difference between like lechon and liempo? I'm not the exact expert on the differences, but I know it's all tasty. But yeah. let me get your opinion on this one. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like a massive hunk of bacon with that chocharrones kind of crispy outside. That's a good one. That's pretty good, isn't it? How do you find that? It's right, <laughs> it's in the food stall right behind us. Dude, you have got like magic with your pick of food. That yeah. was absolutely amazing. Insane. This is good. I like the spiciness, I like the tartness. I'm all for it. This yeah, is me fantastic, too. this is a winner. Now my eyes are on the sweetened one. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. The more the merrier for me, yeah. you know me. I'm not a big fan of chugging vinegar, so <laughs> it's well, a little difficult. When it's coconut vinegar and you're in the Philippines, it's it's hard not to chug the vinegar. It's well, just this too good. smells like this actually got a lot stronger than the last one, so. Yeah. Cheers. It's so interesting because I've had this one before, but it doesn't taste the same. The batches are not consistent, actually. So wow. now it's got more of like a sugary sweetness. Yeah. I've tried this exact one, and yeah, it had more of like an Italian 
dressing herbal kind yeah. of thing. Almost like oregano or something. So I'm really curious how this is gonna taste with the chicharron. I'm just gonna kinda like bathe my chicharron. This vinegar bath right here. Like a morning cereal. Yeah. They're not bad. A bit more sweet for sure. I mean, this is just classic bacon goodness. And if you love bacon, you're gonna love this. Dunk it in. All right, cheers. Cheers. I give this one a nine out of 10. This is the king, this is the queen. I mean, they're both amazing. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of spiciness, a lot of tartness. Even though this one says that it's sweet, I'm still tasting that spicy tartness. But oh, yeah. what is the next one that you want to go with? Oh, I think it's, is it your turn? No, it's, it's my turn. We just had two very spicy ones. Let's go with the king of the expensive versus like relatively affordable. This one costs $5. This is an organic coconut vinegar, all organic, all natural. Check this out. I mean, tell me if what we paid was too much. At Whole Foods, you might find this. Let me shake it up. <laughs> Not that there's any uh, anything at the bottom. There's actually a little bit of mother, but it's already been shaken, so it's already mixed in. Check it out. Cheers. Cheers. So the vinegar flavor in this one is actually really tame. Mm. Yeah, the acidity level, it's yeah. not very high. Maybe it's only like 3% acidity. All it is is fermented and aged organic coconut sap. That's all it wow. is. I like it. Well, let's try it with the chicharron. Oh yeah, good idea. Gotta let it soak up all those good coconut juices. All right, cheers. Just not as spicy. I mean, if you're not a spice lover, if you just love sour, yeah, go with that one. But I don't think I'm gonna get this one again for $5. I think it's a little bit overpriced, but I'm not upset that we tried it. We're, we're happy we tried it. I'm not discouraging you Whole Foods, you know, go to kind of people that want fancy schmancy stuff. But this one doesn't really taste that amazing. I've had better plain coconut vinegars. This is a, five out of 10 because of the expensive right. price points. Five bucks for this? I mean, come on. I can get like a gallon of vinegar for five bucks. Exactly. I would say that's a four out of 10 just because of the price. There's yeah. nothing too crazy about it. I mean, it's just kind of basic. This is what I'm excited about. This is, oh, I don't even know, but hey, check it out. Tried with lechon, barbecue, seafood, roast meat. Okay. Time for just the regular taste test. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, this does taste a lot like Italian dressing. It was this one that tasted like Italian dressing. They just flipped. And that's not a bad thing. That means it's like very natural. Oh yeah. It means they've created them in their own small batches. Let's see how it tastes with the chicharron. I love vinegar, but also I, I hate acid reflux. And this is just really acidic. And I think I'm gonna feel this a little bit later, but hey, let's see what this tastes like. Chicharron. Mm. A match made in heaven. Look at that, cooked to a crisp. It doesn't get much better than this, honestly. Pork yeah. Liempo is like a 10 out of 10 dish for me now. So let's see what this is talking about. Mm. Pretty good. But definitely taste the Italian little bit of dressing in that. It's nice, refreshing. It's more gingery. This one is like more gingery spice, not like full on like chili spice. Yeah. But I think if you want vinegar with ginger in it, go with that one. Yeah. But you go ahead and pick the next one. I really want to try ginger vinegar. It comes in a very artistic, almost like a Texan style bottle. Like I would imagine this coming from Texas. Like this is your guys' style. Let's pop it open. Yeah. Let's get after it. Even the bottle cap, like it looks so artesian. I think the owner of this like lived in Texas for some time. Pour it in. That's good, so they sealed it up properly so no children can open it and yeah. just start drinking it. Yeah, there's definitely a safety seal. How about that? So this must be like a higher quality brand. I mean, we could always pop the top, but... Yeah, but we should do it the way that the manufacturer wanted yeah. us to. But it's gonna take a while. It's like milking a cow. Cheers. Right, cheers. Mm. Oh, that's a weird one. This is interesting. I didn't expect that. It's not as acidic, it's just... It almost tastes smoky, and they, they do specialize in a smoke flavor. Is this the smoke one? Yeah, yeah, okay. smoke vinegar. So here's what I'm gonna say. This reminds me of a barbecue sauce. It reminds me a little bit of a Texas barbecue, like yeah. an actual barbecue in New Orleans or somewhere like that. And barbecue sauce also has, you know, some acidic notes to it. And ginger. This reminds me of one of the flavors of barbecue sauces, but I don't know which city. So this definitely reminds me of somewhere in the USA. All right. You ready? Chicharron, let's go. I love it. I don't love it as much as the uh, Pina Karan. I would say because it's a little bit more expensive, 
I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. You know, it's really anyone's taste and this could be for anybody. All right, so this is gonna be from this brand again. Check it out. I like the designs on these bottles though. But you're right, the pour definitely sucks. Yeah, it's a little bit We annoying. got a couple of flies coming around. We got a couple buddies we invited. This is what kills it. You know, it might've been an eight, but it's at seven. Thanks and to I the think pork. it's because this has stuff in it. Like it's kind of, you know, you got some chunkiness going on. Yeah. It's not super thin. Oh, I'm yeah. actually going to pop the top. Oh yeah, that's good. Perfect. So this is the smoked version. Oh wow, it smells smoky. It smells like Chipotle smoked peppers got thrown in there. It does. This actually looks like it's going to be a great Whoa. winner. Well, you, you, yeah, let's, let's see. Let's see. Cheers. It's not as smoky as I thought it was gonna be, but it's really nice. I like that you have layers of flavor though. I oh. like this. It's like a roller coaster. It goes up. Yeah. It goes to be like chipotle, and then it goes like to be very sour, and then like paprika almost. Yeah. And then it comes back to the chipotle and like it lingers of this spice in your mouth, but it's not too super spicy. I'm like salivating right now. This is crazy. These vinegars are really intense. So now we're gonna try with the chicharron. Let's dig in. Okay. So, yeah, just that paprika, like the chipotle that's been smoked. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's just really nice. I absolutely love this. I would rate that an eight out of 10. I think, oh wow, I, I can't even breathe. Like I breathe in and I breathe in the fumes of the vinegar. Yeah. It's so strong. Um, no, that's amazing. I think I rate this one 8.5 out of 10. It's even better than the ginger. So which one are we trying next? I think we should try the most common Filipino vinegar that's standard for all of the Philippines. This is like Tabasco sauce of the Philippines. Like Heinz ketchup of the Philippines. That's good. One pepper. Ooh, I got two peppers. Ooh. This definitely will destroy your nostrils. Oh, I'm just like soured out right now. Same here. Cheers. Let's power through this one. Almost like you open up a jar of your favorite pickles and you just yeah. drink all the pickle juice. But spicy pickles with onions in it. Yeah. This is the most common vinegar of the Philippines. It's not so spicy. It's not. It's very almost sweet. I think they also put some cabbage in it and also a lot of yeah. garlic. So maybe this is not the right one to go out on a date after. Don't be kissing anybody after right. you have this one. I mean, look at those garlic floaters in there. That's a lot of garlic. All right. Really good. I mean, it's simple. It's amazing. I mean, I could I could do this one. It's just okay to me. I'm not in love with it, but I also don't hate it. I think it's pretty stiff competition when you have so many other flavors that are like power packed. For being such a household name brand, I mean, people buy this in the gallons. But we've okay. tried all of those. We got the cheapest one. We got the cheapest one, and then after this. This one is the other vinegar too. Yeah. So we got Mamacita. It's a bit too much vinegar even for me, guys. We've put ourselves through enough punishment over here. Should we try the, um, this one? The uh, egg rolls? Egg rolls, yeah. Yeah. Should we try it with this one? After, after we try it by yeah. itself, of course. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. No. Oh, wow. Oh. oh, I don't like that. This is just all sugar. It's a sugar vinegar, wow. cane sugar vinegar. It's only 17 cents, but I'm not a fan of the flavor, but it is a staple for the price. You can get four of these for the price of one of these. Quality versus quantity. I mean, this is not bad for a vinegar. It is cheap. So I'm gonna rate it on a different scale of being like the cheapest of the cheap. I'm gonna rate this a six out of 10. So I'm trying it with the pork. Is it better? It's a little better. Let's try it with the pork, see if it adds some, enough flavor. Now here's the interesting thing. This is why I wanted to definitely do this with us trying different menu items with the vinegar because just on its own, you might say, oh, this is terrible. I can't work with it. Mm. I'm not mad at that with the pork. Yeah. The pork is a perfect vehicle. I would say if I have a nice meal and I have some pork, maybe some rice, this is pretty good. I could see why, you know, this is something that most people would pick up, especially for the price. Yeah, I just would not be drinking it on its own. Oh I mean, yeah. No one really does that anyways, except for me, but I would not be buying this again. The lady actually re recommended this one at the store though. So yeah. I thought it was going to be really interesting to try. And they really got this one wrapped well. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We got All the right. unwrapping. Ooh. Boom. Okay, I'm going to try to open it. They really don't want, oh my gosh, this is right? very difficult to get open. Because my hands are wet, so that's the problem. Yeah. Mama Cita, you did a good job on your packaging. Maybe a little bit too good, Ooh. if you know what I mean. You got it? I got it. Wow. 
Great right. on the pour. It, it does get a 10 out of 10 on the pour. So cane vinegar, this is our second cane vinegar we've had right. in this Let's taste test. Cheers. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow. I don't like the cane vinegar. I don't. It's almost like if you were going to drink alcohol and someone switched your alcohol for uh, vinegar. I'm gonna just dip one of these guys in there yeah. and just see if it helps the, like if the cane vinegar goes good with the spring roll. Shout out to my spring roll lady. She was very awesome. She had very nice spring rolls on the street. Yeah. So yeah, cheers. I wanna try I'm not out. a big fan no. of uh, bean sprouts, so mm. Go on. I'll have to pass on the spring rolls. But oh, I will try it with chicharron. Yeah. That I can do. Mm. Okay, I'm not a fan of this vinegar. I'm not the biggest fan. It has a very alcohol-like taste. It, it's almost like I'm trying to drink some alcohol, but someone swapped my alcohol for vinegar. But yeah, I would probably rate that a one out of 10. Loma Cita has excellent vinegar. I want to say that. Yeah. They have very good coconut sap vinegar as well. So check out Mama Cita. You got something in your beard. Ah. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Uh, do you have something you can try with a uh, chocharone? Got a spoon. Okay. Gonna try the hot sauce with a spoon. And it doesn't, it actually doesn't come out. Oh no, what's going on? This is the most thick hot sauce I've ever. Oh my gosh. Oh, this doesn't look very good, does it? Oh, there we go. Oh, it just got on my shoulder. Okay, I'm gonna lick it. Oh. Good thing I'm wearing protective glasses. I didn't get any on my right. eyes. It's very dangerous. Oh, I got one. So this is definitely a chunky, chunky sauce. All right. Mm. That's a good little hot sauce. I dig it. Oh my God. Is uh, it spicy? This is very spicy. It's kind of like a Chipotle hot sauce. It's Ooh. not really anything like Tabasco. It's less vinegary, it's like a very, Neutral, spicy flavor. Lingers on your tongue. Yeah. The front of your tongue mostly. Oh, bring me back to the vinegar. <laughs> yeah, no, the vinegar was amazing. What? Yeah. So what do you rate this one? Mama see this hot sauce. Anything that's too spicy and it's not good enough flavor, it's just spice just for spice. I gotta give it the lower end of the spectrum. I'm gonna say two out of 10, way too uh, spicy. I don't think there's anything that I can put this on. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 for the flavor and everything. Yeah. It's not bad, but you know, after having the vinegars, it's just hard to compare. But I would say this would be my top pick for the vinegar. This was fantastic. I'll be yeah. picking up a bottle myself. You can't go wrong. 10 out of 10. We'll buy again. I have to agree. This is the winner every time. So this is fantastic. I appreciate you having me on the channel, Bert. This yeah. was great getting a chance to try different vinegars. I've definitely, you know, been able to see why so many people love vinegar in the Philippines. There's definitely a full spectrum between the sweet, and the super acidic and the super tart yeah. and all of the little flavors that you can kind of mix in. I mean, it's so crazy how customizable some of these flavors were. There's even more to try. So yeah. get ready for a round two. I mean, there's more from this brand. There's more from other brands. Yeah. There's thousands of vinegars around the Philippines. Well, thank you so much, Pinoy Floyd, for joining me today. Yeah. It's been really a blast. There's been so much awesome new vinegars to try. And I enjoyed even the old vinegars, honestly. I'm looking forward to seeing the next vinegar tasting and seeing how you utilize these vinegars in the future. Yes. And hey, maybe you can do a hot sauce tasting or some other common, um, you know, common sauces in the Philippines. There's a lot of sauces in the Philippines. They are like the land of the sauces. Yeah. Well, hey, oh, yeah. if y'all want to see a part two, part three, part four, or any other videos where Bert is trying different sauces, vinegars, whatever, drop a comment in the section below and let us know and he'll make it happen. And also let us know the vinegars that we were missing because there's a lot of vinegars. I mean, we, we could have gotten even more, but yeah. it's just how much vinegar can you eat in one sitting?